hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i'm if naya welcome to my channel and if you're trying to subscribe how do you do best day? so today i'm going to be telling you how you can make use of the koji sand soap to clear out your dark armpits yes i know this is a major issue many people have been having or many people have currently and i know a lot of persons have been looking for ways or means to like get rid of dark armpits permanently so this particular video is going to be explaining how you can get rid of dark armpits how you can use the koji sand soup to clear out your armpits and what causes dark armpits and how you can avoid that so if this is one of the issues or problems you're having then you're in the right place stay tuned <laughs> a very very black armpit i'm going to show you guys what my armpit looks like right now because i like dealing with evidence this is my armpit right now it's not exactly like as white as let's say my underarm but it is fairer and lighter and better than it used to be like a month ago because I used to have a very very black armpit and it was kind of embarrassing. I know quite all right, it's like a normal thing. I mean, we are black, black girls, right? So definitely not all parts of your skin is supposed to be like popping and stuff, and it's like normal to have like dark armpits. Get yeah, but it is kind of embarrassing because I couldn't like wear sleeveless or short sleeve dresses anything I, I just used to wear very long hand or just short hand dressing dresses but not sleeveless okay because i just felt like it was a bit too much for me if you're having the same issue i brought a remedy for you but first of all before we get into the main thing we have to know the causes what causes this black armpit and how you can prevent it from reoccurring because it's not all about getting rid of it um temporarily this is something you want to continue to do this is something you want to maintain okay so you have to know what causes it and what you're supposed to prevent or avoid so you don't go back to having like very dark armpits again so one of the first things we know that's the common knowledge that causes dark armpits is sweat because i mean you're human beings so we tend to sweat very well in our armpits and this particular thing causes dark armpits is like a common knowledge for everybody so that is the first thing that causes dark armpits but it can be prevented by having your bath regularly morning afternoon and night if you can morning and night but just make sure you try as much as possible to keep your underarms or your armpits dry very dry you get it is going to be very very helpful to you the second thing we should know is you should stop repeating a particular shaving stick yes stop making use of a blunt let me put it blunt shaving stick because once you keep using blunt um shaving stick like shave your armpit hairs it causes um ingrown hairs something like that like it doesn't shave properly you get so it will cause ingrown hairs your armpit and that's what makes it blacker i mean your armpit's already black so imagine when the black hairs are like <laughs> are like not properly cut out and stuff so it it adds to the whole darkening of the underarm so you should use at least a new um shaving bit or a, a sharp shaving bit you should change your shaving bit regularly or constantly stop repeating one particular shaving bit for over one year it is not healthy and it is not good for your skin another thing that causes it is using roll-ons like the roll-on the one we know yes i mean those particular deodorants they don't dry out immediately you use them they like make the place moist and it is not cool at all because you need your armpit to be very dry and imagine making use of a deodorant that leaves doesn't dry out immediately it leaves like watery substance or whatever there for long it's not advisable so this is what i'm going to recommend you use this is rexona they show there are so many others that are like this 
that once you make use of it, like once you spray it under your armpit, it dries out immediately. This particular one I've been using, after spraying it, you notice that your armpit is dry. And like for me, I don't know about others. The one time I spray it in the morning, it's like enough to last me till like afternoon. I won't feel any heat under my armpit. It is very, very advisable you get one of these and stop making use of the roll-ons we know you get because you need it to be dry. The fourth one is not shaving in the right direction. If you notice in your in your own body, I don't know about you, but in my own body, I have noticed that like my hairs grow from down to up, like it grows in this direction. You get like down to up, yes. <laughs> So it grows in that direction so whenever you want to shave if you notice how your own hair grows you have to shave in that same direction normally i used to like shave the normal up down up down you get because i used to feel like i mean that's how my hand is that's how i position my hand but the more you're doing that the more you are giving room for those um ingrown hairs you get you're like you're actually damaging it you're not doing it the right way you're supposed to um shape from down to up and not up to down because that's the direction your hair is going to and it's going to make it smoother that's why i said you should always change your shaving bit because it will only be hard for you doing it in the right direction if you have a blunt shaving bit or if your shaving bit is not um, as sharp as it should be so as long as you're changing it constantly there is no way if you're shaving in the direction of your hair it won't shiver completely you get so you should definitely avoid that mistake check out your body i don't know about you i just said about me i don't know if we are all the same or different people have like different things going on in their body so just check your body not the direction your hair is growing from and know how you're supposed to shave so it doesn't cause ingrown hairs or leave ingrown hairs in your armpit then the next one is you have to exfoliate or get an exfoliating glue. You always have to exfoliate your armpits. Yes, it is part of your body because people keep forgetting that um, your armpits are like part of your body. They just exfoliate their normal body and forget their armpits, which makes it less darker because you're forgetting this particular area of your body. Personally, I use exfoliating glue. I exfoliate just like once in a week though. I'm not going to lie. But I make use of this um, Koji Acid Soap which is also an exfoliant on its own. And I use exfoliating gloves, which also does the exfoliating job you get. So it's either you're getting an exfoliating scrub or you're getting an exfoliating glove. Either ways, just make sure you exfoliate your armpits constantly, at least once or twice in a week. It really helps. So going into the major, the main, the main tea, that's how to use Kojic Acid Soap to clear out your dark armpits. I'm going to be showing you a video of how I use my own. Already, I already cut my own Kojic soap into small pieces. So I'll be making use of one of the pieces. I'll lather it on my hand when it's already wet. Like I'll have to wet the soap, lather it on my hand, and then apply it in my armpits in a circular method. This way, it is touching every part. If you just use the soap like that, on appearance, it won't really have much impact as when you like lather in your skin it's foaming that is when the main ingredients are coming out and you use it use your hand to like apply it on your skin it works better then i leave it on for like two to three minutes if you have a very sensitive skin you should leave it like for a few seconds or one minute max but if you don't have a very sensitive skin you can leave it for two to three minutes it works better that way i leave it on for two to three minutes then i use my exfoliating glue apply the soap on the glue and then wash it out in that same circular motion then afterwards i rinse it out and use the days i want to exfoliate with an exfoliating scrub after rinsing it out i use the exfoliating scrub and go in again and then rinse it out and once i'm done bathing this particular serum is what i use bit gold serum it's a vitamin c serum so I really advise any serum you're using, try and get a vitamin C serum. It really helps to brighten out the skin as well. I make use of my vitamin C serum and go in again to get. And then after this whole serum, if you come and end it with roll on, roll on, then you'll work. You're just wasting your time. So after everything, I make use of my Shaw or Rexona, any more you have, and spray and every pin is dry. 
and it is very clear. I do this morning and night, every day. Like I've been doing it for a month and I'm not going to stop because like I've not really gotten the results I want. But there is a very big progress. There is a very big difference from last month to now. So I'm going to advise you. I don't use, because I've watched some videos that it'd be like you should use turmeric and so many things that you have to mix together and all of that. I just felt like it's going to be very stressful for me to be waking up every morning looking for turmeric and mixing it inside whatever and applying on my skin. You get I had to go for the easiest way, the simpler one that I know it's just to make use of a soap and just keep using that soap constantly. In this particular method of underarm works for your inner thighs as well it works for your spots if you have spots on your face if you have like a mark on your face i'm still going to make a video of how to use the same project as this soap to clear out some bone I used to have a very black mark here i actually used this soap to clear it out like i actually noticed this soap cleared it out recently you get because i've not really been paying attention i just left it there I, I wasn't really paying attention to it but this soap actually does a lot of things and you just have to be consistent with it mind you if you're using this kojic acid soap as a whole body soap you don't need to use it every day you can as for me i alternate with a different soap a very mild soap ever ever soap that's what i alternate it with you can alternate it with any other soap you want but the major thing is you don't, you're not supposed to use this soap every single day if you're using it for your whole skin um, routine you get if you need to get this soap i have a video explaining how you can spot the fake from the original so you don't go getting the fake of this soap and then complaining that maybe you have reactions or irritations on your skin so thank you so much for watching to the end of this video i hope this video is helpful to you don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.